And tonight, whatever God's going to do, what he has done and what he is going to do, you can't force God to go against his will. Sometimes we try to do that. In times in life, sometimes you have to realize there's this inevitable things that God's will outweighs what you're asking him to do for you. Even Paul had a demon in his flesh. What do you mean, Pastor? Did, he could have had a demon. Well, the Word says it. It says it in the Word. Paul said he had a thorn in his flesh, which was the messenger of Satan. Well, if you look up in Scripture, is the an angel of Satan. And, and the word is angelos in Greek. It was an angel saint in his flesh. And he prayed three times. He said, Lord, that God might deliver me. And guess what? After three times praying, he finally got an answer from God. And what do you think God said to him? Sure, Paul, I'll, I'll deliver you that demon. He didn't say that, did he? He said, not so, Paul, for my grace is sufficient for you. In other words, I'm just going to have to allow you to have this because you're going to have to rest in my grace. And all Paul's life, he struggled dealing with that infirmity and God purposely allowed it to stay there because he was teaching Paul a message on the grace of God. How could God be teaching Paul a message on the grace of God? First of all, Paul noted that the reason why it had been sent to him was because it would keep him from being exalted above measure. That's what the word says. How are you exalted? Paul said, with much knowledge, a man is puffed up. You're exalted up. You're lifted up. So how is it that God would allow that? Because if you read what happened to Paul in the first part of that same chapter, in Corinthians chapter 12, in the beginning of the chapter, it says, such a man, speaking about himself in third person, he was caught up in the third heaven. And there, Paul himself heard, he saw things that it was not even lawful for a man to understand or to see or even to speak of. So therefore, Paul was admitting that he had a divine encounter with God and was lifted up to a heavenly place, heard and saw and experienced things in the spirit realm. Later on, after coming back from this heavenly vision, Paul's dealing with his demon. And God says, I have to keep you humble, Paul. Because Paul just done said, with much knowledge, we are, men are puffed up. Think about the knowledge Paul had. He wrote like two-thirds of the New Testament. He came out of a pharisaical background. And he was of the Sanhedrin council, very prideful. And even gave the approval for the stoning of Stephen, which shows that he even had authority, even at bringing a judgment against a Jew in death. Let's think about this scripture. When Paul said this, he said, with much knowledge, a man is puffed up. And he says, a thorn was given to him least being exalted above measure. What is the measure? The Bible says if a man thinks of himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Turn to your neighbor and say we're nothing. And Jesus is everything. You remember I told you before, there's sometimes you can pray and pray and pray and pray, but when God says this is how it's going to be, there's nothing you can do to change that. And that's what happened with Paul. He never got delivered from that devil. It was never recorded in scripture. The God ever delivered. He said, not so, Paul. He said, my grace is sufficient. You're going to say, God, why don't you change my husband? Why don't you change my wife? Because I see something there I don't like. And God says, I'm teaching you how to learn the unlovable. I'm, I'm teaching you how to accept and love people just as they are. And sometimes you have to understand God's grace is sufficient. 